Hi there, Signs of Capricorn. This is Kim. Hope you're doing really good. This message is brought to you through the energy of love, through channeling your spirit guides, your angels, higher self. Um, we are using a few different decks. This is your next 48 hour. I hope you have been uh, checking out my collective reads for in between. I get the um, zodiacs out or for in between, you know, so that you always have one to watch. Also, if you would like a private reading, I do offer those. And that information is in the description box. And it looks like you're going to have, I love this word, resolve. For something to be resolved. <sighs> I get peace of mind too. So maybe it is, it, like the card says, it's a period of indecision and inner conflict. And it's time to make a decision. Because the resolve that you're going to get from a decision, from making a good or wise decision, will give you peace of mind. It will provide some resolve. So maybe that's what the reading is about. <clears throat> and that was number 68. Then I have number 66 with hibernation. And then I have number 72 with earth shifts. Earth shifts. You are very connected to Mother Earth, and as such, you experience all that she does. Oh, yeah. Well, so you might be feeling a lot of shifts right now, then. And I have parting ways. What is this? Is that part of the resolve? Very loud and clear. This is the intuitive life coaching oracle. So when this stuff comes out. Yeah, 57, 58, old habits on the bottom. An old habit might be keeping you from moving forward. And then 58, parting ways. It may be time to move on from this person or this situation. Okay. What is going on? It's a 10, if you notice. The beginning number to the end. 58 to 68 is a 10. There, there's completion here. Um, so maybe it's this hibernation time that's going to allow you to, you know, think of, um, of whatever solution this is. I don't know. What, what else are we going to use? I feel like Oracle right now. I feel like Oracle. Tea leaves? We'll do tea leaves. We'll do tea leaves and then we'll definitely do an angel number card just because of the tens. It's really standing out to me. So let's see. Right, Capricorn. And my mother, my angel, helps me out here. She has passed on, but definitely is helping um, on the other side. So she was a Capricorn, and that there's a very um strong tie to Capricorn in my life. So let's get some tea leaves for you, Capricorn. Let's see what else this could possibly be about. That's good. All right. I think that's what we're going to put. I'm just going to put those there. So I have Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. Mountain Road, you're on the road to success. So no matter what the challenge is, you see the road. You have, you're on the right um, path to getting to the top, basically. Target, goal-oriented person, that's for sure. Goal-oriented person hitting your target. Oh, you got some good ones. And then Harp, great happiness. Great happiness. And then there's got to be these two. Okay. Dagger, fears, worries, tense situations. That's this. That is this. This is the resolve, though. This is what you're going to resolve. Um, and it, then it says, Quill, get back to the basics. Not a bad card, but just telling you to, telling you to get back to the basics with something. Get back to the basics. Also, the feather can have a different, the feather can mean something to you. Um, messages from passed on loved ones, angels, 
the quill, I mean, it, it can be about um, writing, maybe, maybe writing. Let me turn that other light on. <clears throat> A little bit more. Okay. Okay, sorry about that uh, shakiness there. Okay, so my little magic mushroom bed. Let's get this one out. Let's see what the tarot has to say regarding how to get some resolve here, Spirit. We obviously want to know about that. I don't know. I feel like probably this Earth Shifts card also has to do with parting ways. Hmm. Being somewhere where you feel better. Being somewhere where you feel better. All right. Messages here for Capricorn. Um, tell us what, what is this about? What is this decision? Parting ways, whatever it is. Whoa. <laughs> What is it about? Oh, it fell on, they fell on the ground. How many of them fell on the ground? Hang on one second. Let me see. One, two, three. They fell like this. Okay. So, there's your cards. Kind of want to bust right out. That one looks like it wants to come out too. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups in the reverse means that something has... Um, stop moving forward, but for what reason? Now that could be, that could be very different from all. Okay, so what do we have? We have the lovers Ooh. and the parting. Wow. You have the lovers and the parting ways. There could be, um, a decision, a crossroads coming up that, either has already led you to a soulmate energy in which you're going to make decisions with or go, look, I, I just get different directions. This being like this, though, I mean, it could be like one door opens, several paths are open too. One door, one path closes when a ton, a ton of paths, open. you don't want to go backwards. Like, you don't want to go backwards. So, parting ways. And then the Three of Cups is really my single and mingle card. It's getting together with um, friends or family or people that you, you love, that you enjoy. Uh, the Three of Cups is about abundance. It's definitely about celebrating. Hmm. Definitely about celebrating. And then this is about celebrating also. I see a theme here with that. Six of Wands. Uh, that energy, by the way, is a Gemini um, kind of energy with that lovers. is very sociable, right? And it's dealing with another another energy. Um, also, could be the crossroads. Like, the two could represent the crossroads. Um the Three of Cups, Cancer Energy, and then the Six of Wands, Leo, which is a celebration. You have another Leo energy here with the Seven of Wands. I always look at this one as like um, a sign. So you're celebrating, rejoicing. This is getting recognized by others, by other people too. Well, they have it with them. Like the queen ant is getting recognized by all the little worker ants. But everybody is like celebrating you here in this card. And the seven of ones, to me, it's like when you get this inspired action. And like you know which way to go. You know what's, which way the signs are pointing you to go. You're kind of like, you're, with the seven of ones, you're on a roll. You're on a roll. Oh, and this is what you're trying to be, the five of pentacles. And then there's the king of cups in the reverse. Hibernation. Oh, okay. So this is more so about spending time with meditation and rest. Spending time alone without as many extras as possible at the moment. If materialization, um, I mean... 
um, it's, you know what I mean? Like it, it, if like overindulgence in, or over, um, be, overly being involved in material things, this is kind of like getting away from that. And it's going down to the smaller, like, this is just you alone with this situation, spend some time alone, rest and figure out how to resolve a situation. It might be about being on your own or going your own way. The King of Cups in the reverse. The King of Cups in the reverse is a situation that obviously with this um, period of indecision or inner conflict, it makes us feel emotionally off balance, off balance. So it could be a very emotional time. It can be a time to think about, hey, what what do we do? Five of Pentacles can be a if you're worrying about something, if you have if you have health issues to worry about, or if you have financial issues, something that's on that material realm, or something that you can that's tangible, like you can touch. Um. We're going to use the siren song with this. And then that, so that would be Taurus energy and maybe Scorpio. So there's quite possibly some kind of big um, transformation too going on with the King of Cups in the reverse. Tell us more about that in the reverse. In the reverse. Something wasn't what you were expecting expectation what is expected of you whoa okay what is expected of you and then i have the man 29 uh, i don't know if this has to do with like somebody that's not doing what you expect them to do whoa or you know what i mean possibly being in trouble or, or having some issue with authority or um rules and regulations the military number 22 is is this is doing what you're expected to do it's appearing adhering to the laws the regulations um it is the people that kind of like make them too though it's the people that are like over the uh rules laws and regulations also it could be a powerful friend for example um this could have to do with some kind of loss of some sort or something that was taken what else oh well that's good and i have similar colors too okay clover is success luck it's finding fortune and then, and then i have prison parting ways prison okay oh so these these cards are usually metaphors people so you this parting of the ways could lead you to some kind of great happiness of feeling like you are um broken out of some kind of prison whether it's a mental prison or or whatever it is. There's some kind of luck or success coming in for you. It feels like there's some kind of trade and trade off in life. I know that sounds really crazy, but there is some type of trade off in life. The anchor, something that will make you feel more grounded. What's the problem with this um, energy here? Making you upset making you upset ah. trying to build with stability and for good health longevity the tower in lenormand is about that it is about health longevity it's about consistency it's what you're expecting oh wow you might get actually this is a good message you might get more than what you were expecting you might get more that you were expecting you may get a period of rest and then what you weren't expecting was for something to grow and become big and healthy and strong. Tell me about stars. 
16 stars 16 and that's the Lenormand um, one Sixteen relating to maybe, um, okay, endurance with the tower. So endurance is coming out. Luck, success, focus, and prophecy. <clears throat> it says it's peaceful and hopeful and that everything is to com coming together like the way that it should be. This is divine guidance or alignment of an uh, indication of where you are headed. And especially with this um, either new path or this crossroads opening for you. Hmm. Two of those cards that mean luck, success, fortune coming out for you so far. The man card being a, the 29 means that they're not your partner either. They're, they're somebody else. I mean, they're obviously a male and they're somebody else. Somebody outside of a relationship, outside, maybe within the family. That doesn't necessarily matter too much. I have court. So you may be an advocate or standing up for somebody when it has to do with court or something to do with legal, legality, something legal. A false person. A false person. A false person. Parting ways with a false person. Hmm. What is the uh, false person referring to for Capricorn? <laughs> the siren to the man. Two men, three, three men. This is you, man or woman. This is you. You're in the middle of a situation where somebody is not who they seem. Their actions don't match their words or they are not genuine. Their offer doesn't feel genuine. Their excuses don't feel genuine. You're in between and, and you're having to look. Are these two aspects of the same person, like of a different person, but two aspects of them? Like the one side, the side that you see and then the side that uh, like supposedly everybody else possibly sees. <clears throat> Because it certainly looks like different people, right? And look, it, it, the ring's coming out highly desired, um, wanting a commitment with you, but there's more than one, and one you don't, you feel like is a false person or not acting like themselves. And then I have great fortune on the bottom. Hmm. Let's see. Desire message of concern coming out of some kind of financial hardship too i'm just channeling this information there's a lot and these things seem so mixed up <clears throat> why do these things feel like that it's the, if, <laughs> like i'm doing capricorn's reading but i feel like this is about others here Privileged lady or the rich girl energy number 12 is coming out. And the pathway. Another card for expectation. Another card for expectation. Another false person card. Oh my gosh. And the gift. And the gift. Okay, so.
Carol, you gotta give us some <laughs> some assistance here. Who are these? Who is the false person, or who is the false person? Has to do with something that you're putting completely in the past. Um, putting behind you, there's the ten. Ten of Swords in the reverse is a, a complete ending, walking away from an ending completely, and a rebirth. So this is a rebirth. This was, this is something different than you're expecting. Maybe somebody's expectations are meeting yours more than, but there is something that we're ending with that Ten of Swords in the reverse. Oh, and that, with that great fortune card, you also have the nine of pentacles kind of coming out here too. So independent, self-reliance, this is what, maybe you weren't expecting this. This is good. This is great fortune. It's a windfall of money. It's an inheritance. It's something, it is some kind of reward. Uh, to me, it's a reward for your efforts here. And it shows your focus, your um, your drive and the effort. And it's a rebirth, maybe of what you're doing, or maybe a rebirth of what, um, how you work, or how, oh, seeing things clearly now, on a pathway and seeing things clearly now, about what's important, what's important, and what things shouldn't be shut out of life. Period. Five of Pentacle. Seeing clearly what's important. What's seeing clearly what to prioritize somebody feels very left out and there's a lot of worry here we have two cards of worry <clears throat> and i have the strength card which is confident strength and it might be it usually Look, usually the strength card comes out when I have a reading that says something about this. So the 58 card, the parting ways, whenever you see that and then the crossroads, usually the confidence has to do with that. And especially for Capricorns in need, because there's, there's this tie with the strength and confidence of um, there's like no time to worry about some security issues at the at that exact moment because you're needing confidence, bravery, um, there's something to act on right that moment. And so it's different, it's very different than um, Capricorn energy. This is something sudden, sudden, sudden. It's gonna take confidence though. And there's the dang Empress, so hello. It's gonna work out. <laughs> It's going to work out. And there's your energy, Queen of Pentacles. You could be the Empress energy too. Um, the Empress creates, is self, is, you know, relies on self, is independent, can take care of themselves really well, but they can also nurture others really well too. So that's what this is about. And a great fortune, apparently a great fortune that's going to be um, made. <laughs> Hmm. Whatever you do, especially artistically, your beauty, uh, your um, intelligence is being looked at as like divine. It's um, it's effortless artistic. It's effortless beauty to watch out for the sharks in the water because of this great fortune for sure. And then the unicorn, and that is you and your connection to divine and getting channeled uh, information, maybe through the third eye chakra visions visualizing um saying it before it happens and then the lizard is uh, indicating maybe some kind of extrasensory perceptions going on maybe even some um telepathy the vulture says nothing is wasted absolutely nothing is wasted everything you go through isn't a, a waste there's just so many people in this reading it might be it might be frustrating just the people <laughs> people knight of swords change coming in quick quick
88. Oof, maybe that's that, that type of change with the wealth. Maybe it has to do with finances. But wealthy means a lot of things, right? 88, you are on the cusp of a prosperous, abundant spiritual life. You'll find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which will bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. Then, and lots of eights, I have uh, 18, you are both open-minded and open-hearted. It is your am ambition to leave the world better than how you found it. This is the highest good of all. Um, I'm kind-hearted. I'm observant. Eight, uh, and I'm, what does I say? Eight, eight, eight. It's zero, zero. Says angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Uh, and then Jesus pops out as I say that. Jesus, the it says, I am, I am observant. Then I have Jesus, the divine healer. Dear Jesus, thank you for your divine healing power and your presence. Um, oh, kill a chihuahua. I also have using your natural abilities, using your natural healing abilities. Thank you for clearly guiding, encouraging, and supporting my healing work. I have fresh air. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me and helping me to breathe easier in all kinds of ways. And consult a nutritionalist. I uh, turn my eating over to you, Archangel Raphael. I ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good, are fulfilling, and that support my ideal height or weight and height. <laughs> Not height. Yeah. H health and weight. I'm sorry, guys. It's been, it's been a day. So I'm sending you much love and light. If you want a private reading, that information is in the description box below. And uh, like and subscribe and do come back for your next reading, your update. Bye-bye.